If you would like to support the channel, then please turn off adblock and refresh the page. Alternatively, use the link in the description below to donate to T1 Patreon. Thank you. Hey Magic Me on YouTube, T1 Glistener Elf here. I am running, once again, Vintage. This is Blazing Infect in the Untap Open League. This is round four. So what I'm rocking over here is good old Blighted Agent Progenitus Blightsteel, Ink Moth Nexus, that's your Infect. Sans you. You'll, you'll, you'll show up in just a moment. Sorry if you've seen this intro a bunch of times, but just in case this is somebody's first video, uh, we pitch Progenitus, or down here we have Blasphemous Act, and you can pause if you need to see what these do, to Blazing Shoal to have... Uh, this card is banned in Modern, and for good reason. So we're trying to get a turn 1 Ink Moth, or Blighted Agent even, into a turn 2 kill, and that's how the deck works, with Force of Will backup and Mental Misstep and all that jazz. Other shenanigans we have going on, we have lots of tutors, we have Demonic Consultation, we have Mystical Tutor, we have Vampiric Tutor, there you are bud. The Mystical Tutor is not necessarily great, unfortunately, however, this is actually why Blasphemous Act is in here. Blasphemous Act is the, you can't get Progenitus off of that, you can only get Blasphemous Act, so lo and behold, there we go. It also gives us some backup win conditions, so you'll notice Show and Tell here. That's so that if we get a Blightsteel or Progenitus stuck in our hand, we can play it. We have Tinker here to get Blightsteel out. And my opponent has not showed up yet, so we're gonna we're gonna spend a little bit more time. We're gonna wait a bit. And let's look over my opponent's deck. This is Lavinia Death and Taxes. Eldrazi and Taxes. Lavinia and Eldrazi and Taxes. There are three things that are sure in life. Okay. Uh, so we have Containment Priest. Uh, I don't care. Well, kind of. There's Show and Tell and Tinker. Oh, I heard it. There it goes. Uh, we have Lavinia, we have Phyrexian Revoker, Thalia, Glow Rider, Thalia, Thought Not Seer, Reality Smasher, Mental Misstep, I don't care, Black Lady, okay, cool, and, uh, and all of this. Uh, Wasteland and Strip Mine I care about for sure. And uh, I just heard my opponent, alright, so let's see, I get to go first, ooh, neat. That's going to be fun. I'm going to say, keep, oh, good luck. Keep. So this has a creature, Blighted Agent. It has Blazing Troll, but it doesn't have Progenitus, but it does have Ponder. So we're decently likely to have a game from here. Alright, Uncle Flacco. Shoutouts to Flacco. Oh, also, since uh, Evangeline, since T1 Stone Forge Mystic isn't here, her Jigglypuff is. So, uh, you too, keep. Cool. Alright, so we're going to start off with. Uh, actually, we're going to do Polluted Delta first. Not that it actually makes any difference at all. I'm gonna play the the Mox. Fetch. We are definitely getting Underground Sea here. There is zero chance we're not. Find card. We're gonna get an Underground Sea. Because it, worse comes to worse. Oh, hello, my mouse. It's a touchpad. Worse comes to worse. We're still going to be able to make some use out of the others to get other Underground Seas. Alright, let's see if this resolves. Oh, wait a minute, it's a Lavinia deck. Never mind, it doesn't have any Force of Will, Mental Misstep, or Bust. Uh, okay. Okay. Pass on to you. Alright, we're going for that turn 2 kill, folks. It's not going to happen. I have a feeling it's not going to happen. I could be wrong. So, they have a number of ways. Let's, let's look at their, uh, they're running the full set of Moxen. They're running Soul Ring, Mana Crypt, Chalice I don't care about, Black Lotus, so they're decently likely to have a 2-drop, and if they have a 2-drop, they might be able to stop me. Uh, a 2-mana Ponder into a 1-mana Blazing Shoal actually still kills, uh, but something like Lavinia, I'm, I'm a little worried about. So, there's Jet, okay. I can live with Jet. Jet doesn't pay for Lavinia. <laughs> uh, no Rod actually is fine, too. Caracas, okay. Actual, factual, no difference. It doesn't even work on Progenitus. Thalia. Okay, we can live with that. Thalia is fine. Um, thinking. Uh, give them the idea that I might have Force of Will. Uh, also, coffee. Lots and lots and lots and lots of coffee to get me through this. Mm. Alright, that's fine. See if we can make it a little further. And I would like to see Crocus is a two of. Okay. Okay. Uh hi Jigglypuff. 
Yeah, um, that doesn't work super well. Your, your body is shaped such that that's not easy. Um... Let us... Try... Ooh, okay. Pikachu! Pikachu's turn. There we go. Oh. <laughs> nice. Nice. Alright. So here we are. Let's do our two mana ponders. You definitely ponder first. That should resolve. Uh, Mental Misstep actually can't be played here, so... Yeah, that's okay. Uh, because of Thalia, Mental Misstep does not actually work. Look at cards. Look at the top three. Uh... Mmm. Mmm. That's not what we need. So we're going to shuffle. And... Draw. <gasps> Got there. I'm just going to reveal it. No, 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 yeah, I should, I should reveal it. Find card. Do an underground sea. Yeah, Uncle Flacco, in the, in the Discord for this, said uh, something to the effect of, Oh god, I'm paired up against Infect. GG? I mean, that's, that's GG, okay, okay, we got there. Turn two, turn two, folks, turn two, in fact. I'm sorry, that was, that sounded loud. I didn't mean it to sound that loud. All right, so we'll go into sideboards, see what we have going on. All right, um, <laughs> well, so, obvious one, Path to Exile and Swords to Plowshares are coming in. Period, end of story, those are the easiest ones. Uh, so I can't take out Mental Misstep. Although it does very little in the matchup, it can't really take out Mental Misstep, unfortunately. Mental Misstep will also help fight Mental Misstep Wars over something like Fatal Push, which is going to stay in the deck. I've learned my lesson. Other than that, Dismember seems like it comes in. That, that seems easy enough. Um... They might bring in Containment Priest as another way to deal with the, the sideboard... I mean, not the sideboard, the alt-link condition stuff. Um, no extra Lavinias to bring in. Graph Digger's Cage... I mean, Tinker? But that's that's going all in for one card. And I don't think that they would. Uh, Fragmentize is a sorcery, and so it won't deal with Ink Moth Nexus. So, at the very least, we're looking at the three removal spells, and I would not be surprised if Containment Priest comes in as well. So, given that, what do I have to bring in for mine? So, because I'm expecting more removal, again, let's look here. Flusterstorm normally only has three things to deal with. However, I am expecting more to come out, but I still don't think it's worth it. So, uh, Damping Sphere probably doesn't do enough. It only hits Eldrazi Temple. This is not a an Ancient Tomb Mishra's Workshop deck. Uh, Echoing Truth is a good catch-all, and so I'm probably bringing in Echoing Truth. If nothing else, it deals with Lavinia, potentially. Why did that not show? There we go. Null Rod is... So my opponent has a number of artifacts. Um, I, not that many more than me, though. I'm not sure that's worth it. Sorcerer's Spyglass, Energy Flux, Ravenous Trap. So I don't have very much to bring in. Uh, given that, so let's just hurl this in somewhere, put it at the top, and then see what's coming out. So Mental Misstep is... It's not great, but I think it's a necessary evil, especially since I'm anticipating more of that coming in. Getaxian Probe is often the one that I'll take out. In this matchup especially, though, I think... So, I don't... Okay. Look at all of these artifacts. Chalice, I usually don't care about. Uh, Chalice and one, I don't. Uh, in this matchup, because the actual combo, all the pieces for all the combos are not at CMC1. Uh, or zero, for that matter. Um... No, it's not. We're going to try it without. I don't think Hercules Recall does enough here. Um, and then let's look through to see if there are any more absolutely dead cards. Actual, factual dead cards here. I don't think there are, so I think that I'm going to try it this way. Was Chalice on 1 stopping that? No, it wasn't. Okay, so that's a good question. 
CMC equal. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, for ponder. Yeah. Oh, for ponder, yeah. Um, yeah, that's a thing. That's, that's a good question. So if my opponent had gone turn one, chalice on one, that actually would have kept me from winning that early. Um, I shuffled and drew into... Pro G. <laughs> the OG. That, that's what I'm calling it, the OG. Oh, no, no. Let's draw seven. Let's not tutor up seven cards. Holy crap, what is this hand? What is this hand? <laughs> it's a turn two kill again. Oh, it's a turn two kill. I have to. It's, oh, good. Oh, God. Going down to five. Oh, God. <laughs> Whoo -hoo. Okay, okay. So, uh... Moved? Okay, so we already did the scry. That's fine. That's fine. If, if you're scrying, it's obvious you're keeping anyway. It's fine. Alright, so... Pearl into... Cavern? Good. What's this on? What's this going to be? What's this going to be? Please, Chalice. Please, Chalice. I would like to see this. Chalice and one. Oh, no, another Thalia. Okay, well, we're not going to quite get there. We're not going to be that obnoxious. No turn twos, folks. I'm sorry. Pack it in. Pack it in. Uh, we're going to do this. And I believe that it's correct for me to go into... I think I'm supposed to do Underground Sea here, because I think that I'm supposed to bait out the, uh, the Wasteland, right? Hmm. Oh, also, just to make sure, human. Okay, okay. It was that or Eldrazi, so making sure. Find card. Since I have another fetch land, I think that I can afford to do Underground Sea here. Although, that does leave them two mana to play another hate bear that they're going to anyway, though. Um, it's okay, it's okay. I think this is fine. If they waste and they can't do Glow Rider, I'm, I'm okay with that. So, our one mana mocks. And... Pass turn. I mean, that's one way to play through a Thalia. Thalia is a really good card. Thalia is a really good card. Even in this case, even in Vintage. Alright, there we go. Taking the two. Oh yeah. Alright, Glow Rider, Glow Rider, Glow Glow Rider, Glow Rider, Glow Rider, Glow Glow Rider. Other Thalia. Hmm. Okay. So for those that don't know, let's read this Thalia out real quick. Thalia, Heretic, Cathar, First Strike, again. <laughs> Creatures and non-basic lands your opponent control into the battlefield tapped. <laughs> I, I can't help but when I see two Thalias out. Then again, Planeswalkers can do that too. Alright, let's see. I think that I'm supposed to... I think that I'm supposed to play the land. It'll come in tapped. Play out a Blighted Agent. It'll die. It will absolutely die. I, I don't know that, but I have a sneaking suspicion that it's going to die. And then we'll be able to play the second one. Hopefully... Oh yeah, sorry, it's tapped. My beep. I remembered the land. And missed the creature. Also, did you... Did Delta deal you one? It should have. Uh... Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. You're right, you're right, you're right. It's the Thalia Swing. 
I need coffee. <laughs> coffee time, coffee time. Chugging it now. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it turns out getting the underground sea had an extra benefit. When I fetch here, I'll be able to get a basic island, which will not come in tapped. Alright, here goes nothing. Untap. Alright. Thinking. Okay. So, folks. I can spend two mana here to go and get Force of Will. Um, so that I have a little bit more security on the combo turn. I think that that's correct. With that much going on for my opponent, I think that it's right for me to do that here. There is a, there is a potentially a catch, though. Mystical Tutor. All right, let's see what my opponent's going to do. Because I have Progenitus, there's not even a need to go for, like, Mental Misstep, even though that deals with... It doesn't deal with Dismember. Um, if I don't go for it this turn, which I'm not, but since I'm not going for it this turn, uh, it also protects me from Lavinia. So fine card. Force of Will. Top of the deck. Draw. Gee, I wonder what that was. Um. So I'm not incentivized to go for it this turn because I can either Blazing Shoal or I can use Force, but I can't do both. Combat. Hiya. Uno. All right. Okay. This this may be wrong. I maybe should have gone for it there, especially since my opponent mulled to five. But I I don't know. I I think that there's deck. <laughs> Riff. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Oh no, it's a cast trigger. On no, wait. Yeah, I think, no, it's an ETB trigger on Thought Not Seer, right? Let me, let me read it. Enters the battlefield. Okay. No. Heck no. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Getting there. Working our way there. Has to be basic island, of course. Well, that's what I get. <laughs> oh, and the one. All right, we're locked in for next turn. Oh, oh, Jay, oh, Jay, oh, Jay. You didn't math, you didn't math, man. Only has one card left, but if that one card happens to be Dismember or Path or Swords, I lose! I, I can't believe I messed that up. Okay, here's the reason why I lose, folks. That is five damage. I will not be able to play a Blighted Agent and not block and live. So, I, I did mess up. So, I'm glad that didn't punish me, but... Alright, let's draw. Three mana D tutor is not gonna get it, so uh Got it. Got it. <laughs> I had it a turn earlier, but I went for safety. Oh reality smasher! 
Almost there. Okay, folks, that's that's sniper syndrome in Magic the Gathering. If you if you're familiar with the term in poker, uh, sniper syndrome is when you assume that there's I think it's called sniper syndrome when you assume that there's a sniper behind every tree, and so you don't ever go for anything. You don't ever actually like go all until the end. Um, oh, geez. Oh, I can't see your cards, but I believe you, man. Nothing but lands. Oof. Oof. Uh, yeah, that's a thing. Sorry, dude. Alright, you did your best. How'd you sideboard? If you don't mind. For me? Hercules recall in? Or out? <laughs> And echoing tree then. Bring in removal and artifact. Hey, I don't have anything else. To be fair, one of the joys. Hello, joys of a non-meta deck is not seeing hate. We'll see how long that lasts. We'll see how long that lasts. I don't know. If you'd like to practice... Oh, hello. And this is true for you all as well. If you'd like to practice or play casually, then please let me know. I'm anti-meta. True. <laughs> true! You actually are! That is, uh... Okay, I said non-meta. You're anti-meta. That, that's not... Technically the same thing, but <laughs> sometimes it is. All right, you to man, Uncle Flacco. I think I, I think I think that's it. I think that's a guy. All right, take care. Oh, anything you'd like to say to YouTube? Oh, I can't spell. Okay, one more try. We're gonna do one more try. You too, see ya. I... Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, I typed anything you'd to try to catch him before he left. Just in case, you know. Plug yourself if you'd like. Carno, be please nerf. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. Yeah, Grammarly, unfortunately, does not seem to apply to this. I don't have a channel yet. Uh, yeah. You even let me know. Alright. That's it. Take care, Magic Community. I will see you all later. Bye-bye! I can't believe I didn't do the math on Force plus Fetch plus two five power swings. I should have gone for it. I should have gone for it.